If you're anything like me, you have a bunch of goals you want to achieve. Maybe you want to be an absolute beast when it comes to strength, but you also want to be agile and mobile. Maybe you want to do several different sports. Maybe you want to do 300 kilo deadlift at the same time as being able to run a four minute mile, compete in MMA, do 30, 40 unbroken pull-ups in a set, etc and etc. I've always been a fan of the saying jack of all trades, but how do you achieve this for a regular person? So if you're not a full-time athlete, if you have a regular job where you go to school, how can you still be able to manage strength training at the same time as doing lots of sports or activities? First point is going to be to simply review your priorities. What is it that you want out of this on a long-term basis? Is it the most important thing for you to become better at your chosen sport, for example climbing or jiu-jitsu, or do you want to become strong as a higher priority? If you have them pretty similarly lined up, what you could do is that you could start more or less half of your workouts with first doing a strength session and then doing your then doing your activity, and the other half of the, your, your sessions you could start the opposite way. So first doing, for example, some climbing or jiu-jitsu, and then doing some strength towards the end. And then for increasing strength, I have three, I think, systems I would recommend. One would be if you go pretty much every single day. So you go five to six small sessions per week of strength training. These don't have to be really long, like 30, 40 minutes maximum really, to, to just get a few sets of high return on investment exercises. So this way you could do like a push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs, have one rest day a week and then keep it going like that. If you wanna have a bit larger sessions, a bit less frequently throughout the week, you could do three to four uh, upper body, lower body sessions. Let's say you do Monday upper body, Tuesday lower body, Wednesday rest, Thursday upper body, Friday lower body, and then Saturday, Sunday rest and repeat. And for those of you that want to do full body, this is also an alternative. You could do either like just a single day per week if you want to go some like crazy Mike Mensa style training where, where, where you train really infrequently, or you could do two to three full body sessions per week. Depends a bit on your preferences, depends a bit on your schedule, but I would say that these are all systems that work really well for gaining strength. And remember guys, you don't have to be in the gym for a lot of time to, to build strength, but what you need is exercises that are gonna use a lot of your muscles, so compound lifts, whether these are the overhead press, the, uh, the weighted pull-up, the weighted dip, incline chest press, whatever have you, barbell back squats, deadlifts, these types of exercises are absolutely phenomenal for building strength. Now the next point is going to be a quote that I really love and it is a slowly is the fastest way to get to where you want to be. So with this in mind, what you want to do for your training is build good systems, build good habits. You don't have to have the most intricate workout routine, the most complex system or just be in the gym for absolutely ages to be able to balance your, your sports training and, and your strength training. What you simply need to do is a good system that you can sustain. That is crucial because believe it or not guys, Right now, like a lot of programs might seem like, okay, you're making slow progress, but in the moment it often seems very, very slow. But a couple of months in the future, and you'll look back at how much progress you've actually made and be quite astonished. So the biggest thing is that you can maintain whatever program you set up and you can keep the consistency up. Because as with investing in the stock market or whatever have you, right, where people tell you, oh, time in the market beats timing the market, it's same for training, right? Doing like a super intense week of training isn't going to get you nearly as long, isn't going to get you nearly as far along as if you simply do a pretty standard program, nothing too insane in terms of intensity, but something that you can sustain and you keep it up for eight months, 12 months, 16 months, and then you start seeing proper, proper progress. So yeah, for this, I would recommend just setting up a good weekly schedule that you can stick to. If you have a bit more of a sort of varying timetable and you can't really do something that will last for a long time, I'd recommend that each weekend you set up the next week sort of training uh, training plan. So what will you do Monday through Sunday in terms of resting versus training and uh, figure it out from week to week. Because this way you'll avoid those situations where you're suddenly there on a Wednesday afternoon and you've got a bunch of work handed to you in your lap that sort of needs doing today, but uh, you kind of want to do this jujitsu session that's coming up, but oh, you could also do so like just all of this uncertainty just leads to a lot of missed opportunities. Like the more the more of these gaps you have, the easier it will be to miss a workout, and uh, that's ultimately what's going to kill progress the most. Just missing a bunch of workouts and falling off the bandwagon, right? Back to the thing I said about consistency, 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 consistency. So set up a good system and you'll thank yourself later. 
Third and final point for this guys is recovery. Recovery is absolutely crucial, one for strength gains, so for building strength, but also for neural adaptations and learning. So whatever sport you do, your ability to do that sport is gonna improve and your strength is gonna improve way more if you have adequate sleep and recovery. And also guys, remember to actually manage how much you train. I often end up in the pitfall where I want to do everything now. So I stack up weeks where I have a bunch of training hours, like 20, 25, try to sometimes pull those weeks, but it doesn't really work. Like, here's, and here's the biggest problem. It's like, the more you train, the more you have to recover. Like the more time you spend training in the training room, uh, lifting and throwing around weights, the more time you spend on the mat, the more time you spend on the wall climbing, all of these things, it really accumulates for each of those hours that you add on beyond like your threshold of maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe even 20 hours a week, the more time, the exponentially more time you'll have to prepare good quality food, to eat more, to sleep more, maybe to do some foam rolling and stretching and all of these extra things, right? So be sure to manage that because if you're just beating your body down, and you're training too much relative to how much you're recovering and eating and taking care of your body, it won't really help much for anything. Sure, like maybe you'll build extra discipline and become like David Goggins a bit more, but it's also about how to like min-max to a certain extent, right? How to be able to train hard, how to get the results you want without spending absolutely ages in the gym, just destroying your body more than is actually needed. Because if you won't get any adaptations from it, if you won't learn better technique or motor patterns or you know better skills or you won't get any stronger then what is the point you know what i mean give it time believe in yourself and trust in the process it won't happen in a week or a month but in the course of a few years you can make absolutely huge progress that's my plan anyways so thank you guys for watching and as always remember to keep on training train what you love and i'll catch you in the next one see you guys